What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we are taking a look at the 2014 LEGO DC Comics Super Heroes set 76010 Batman The Penguin Faceoff, which appears to loosely be based off of Batman Returns, but like not really. So this set had two mini figures, two little penguins, two vehicles, a little iceberg piece here, was $12.99 back in the day and had 136 pieces. So it's actually a pretty decent value even by today's standards. And I have some fun memories with this. I got this in college and I was so embarrassed to walk back into my college dorm room with a Lego bag in tow. And then all these years later, now many superheroes today is a big thing. So just goes to show guys, don't be ashamed of Lego. Don't be ashamed of whatever it is that you're into. Just own it. And uh, who knows what can happen? Speaking of who knows what can happen, let's start taking a look at these minifigures. Here we've got the penguin. I absolutely love this torso with the big furry uh, like kind of neck printing there on the front and back. He's got a little umbrella, some short gray legs, a top hat of course, and then a remote control for his mind-controlled penguins which we'll look at here just momentarily. Then we've got this kind of like scuba aqua Batman. I'm not sure what we would want to call him, but he's got some great back printing there that's hid underneath this neck piece here, which is like a breathing apparatus. He's got black little flippers on his feet, which are quite cool. You can see the torso there has the blue bat logo. It looks fantastic. And when you lift it up, he's got like a bat snorkel on one side, and then you can actually see his Bruce Wayne face on the other side. So that is quite cool. A very, very cool Batman variation. And then we have two Two identical uh, mind-controlled penguins as you can see they've got these little levers on their head that show they're under the penguins mind control and each one has a little dynamite stick in their hands so that's quite cool then before we get to the vehicles just show you there's a little iceberg here that has a gem presumably what the penguin is trying to steal or guarding or something like that then here we've got this I don't know what you would call this, this bat scuba something or other, but there's a harpoon on this end, which is pretty uh, violent to fight the penguin with. I mean, Batman doesn't kill his villains, but dang, with that harpoon, you might think he would. So then you can clip Batman in here, and you know, it's supposed to be like partially in the water or something like that. You've got a little rotor on the back here that spins, and then all these little fins on the side, two flick fire missiles, and actually a printed hood for this vehicle, which is quite cool. And then the best part of this set, definitely the most unique part, is this little rubber duck kind of vehicle thing for Penguin, which of course spins on the back, has two flick fire missiles on the underside, and this is what makes me say it's loosely based off of Batman Returns because of Penguin's vehicle from that. But then you can just push Penguin's arms up, and he will fit right in there to pilot it. So not a crazy set by any means, but for $12.99, I really feel like this was a great valued set back then. And even today, still pretty good value. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this set. Let me know if you had it and be sure to hit like and subscribe for more Lego videos every day here on Mini Superheroes Today. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more Lego content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.